Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to show you how a pro wires an exterior two gang box with a 20 amp GFCI receptacle and a 20 amp receptacle. The pro doing the work will be Greg Anlicker, who is a three time winner of the Ideal National Championship electrical competition. You'll see the speed with which he can work. But I'll be stopping the action from time to time to explain the wiring and explain why he's doing what he's doing. There are three NEC code violations in the video, which I'll challenge you to catch while you watch the action. Then after the wiring is done, I'll reveal the violations and show you the appropriate NEC codes. One tip. Is that Greg doesn't do anything wrong. The violations stem from a supply chain issue. And now Greg is going to start wiring the box. And right now he's adding a green wire, which is called an equipment grounding conductor. It bonds the box to the grounding system. And that particular product is called an ideal push tail. And now Greg's going to grab the ground wire, cut it to length, strip it, put it in with his EGC, that's Equipment Grounding Conductor. Now he's going to add a green wire, both ends of a green wire, and then watch this. He'll cut them off and strip them to length. It's just a little nice trick to do it a little faster. He's put loops on the wires, and now he's cut the hot wire and the white neutral. And now Greg is making pigtails, both black hot and white neutral pigtails. And he's stripping them and getting them ready. And he'll be working on the standard receptacle first. Now he's screwing down the pigtails to the receptacle. He's putting on the white pigtail right now. Now he's going to take one of his ground pigtails and put it to the green grounding terminal of the receptacle. And now he's going to strip the black and white wires. And now he'll add the other green pigtail to the green grounding terminal of the GFCI receptacle and tighten that down. And now the white line wire goes to the line portion of the GFCI on the neutral side. And here's the black line wire, which goes to the hot side of the line portion of the GFCI. And they're tightened down. I'm going to stop right now and explain what he's doing. So this is the line portion of a GFCI. This is actually the back of the GFCI. This is your silver terminal right here. It says right here, white wire or blanco. It goes in right here. And this is hot wire. This is a black terminal. Sometimes they're a brass color. And so first he put his line white wire right in here. And see, it just slips in. It's called a back wire system. You just put it in and then you tighten down this screw. And over here, he took the black hot wire and he put it right in here and he tightened the terminal down. And so that's what he's done so far. He's installed his line wires here for the white wire and here for the black wire. Now he's going to work on the load portion of the GFCI, adding the black hot wire to the load portion on the hot side of the GFCI. And now he's going to take the neutral wire and add it to the load portion of the GFCI on the neutral side. And here's a close up for the load portion of the GFCI. He says load here and it says white right here. So the white wire that goes over to the receptacle goes here and you tighten it down. You see that other receptacle is the load of this GFCI. So the black wire that
goes over to the other receptacle, goes in here, and you tighten it down. You see, the standard receptacle is the load of the GFCI. In that way, the GFCI will protect the receptacle from ground faults. Greg is now putting on the ideal armor bands. Remember, this is an exterior application. So, if you see anything that doesn't look quite right about these receptacles, I'm going to be bringing it up after this is done. Now Greg is going to install the weatherproof exterior outlet cover. And this is for a two gang box. And there's little inserts. See the standard receptacle is a standard type receptacle and the GFCI is the decor style. So he's got to get this the right way around. And he put in his little inserts. This is an extra duty aluminum die cast exterior cover. Okay, get it to fit just right on there. And there's some little screws you gotta put into place. Here we are at 406.9 receptacles in damp or wet locations. And then under number one of 406.9, it says all 15 and 20 ampere, 125 and 250 volt non-locking type receptacles shall be listed and so identified as the weather resistant type. Here's a photograph from one of my videos where both the GFCI and the receptacle that it protects are marked with WR, which means weather resistant. Here we are at 2020 NEC 406.4 D2C. And right here it says where grounding type receptacles are supplied through the ground fault circuit interrupter grounding type receptacles or their cover plates shall be marked GFCI protected. So that GFCI receptacle is not weather resistant. That's violation number one. The grounded receptacle is not weather resistant. That's number two. And then the grounded receptacle is not marked as GFCI protected. So that's number three. So there you go. I hope you got that right. I think Greg did a fantastic job of wiring. I think that's a good lesson for all of us to see a real professional just go at it and wire these receptacles up. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.